great to be able to see all of you. <laughs> Thank you, that's a little bit of light. Uh, my message to you and, and to me and to each and every one of us is very, very simple. Don't miss Christmas. Don't miss Christmas. Sadly, there have been individuals who missed the very first Christmas. Some of those individuals were prominent, others weren't. But the reality is that they did not understand the true meaning of this great and marvelous event that took place in history that we call Christmas. They did not understand that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. They fail to understand that Christmas is necessary in order for John 3.16 to be a reality. One of those individuals who missed Christmas was Herod. Herod was prominent. Herod was a king. But sadly, he did not understand the true meaning of Christmas. Matthew tells us about Herod missing Christmas in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2. That text says that after Jesus was born, there were some wise men. Sometimes they're referred to as magi. But there were some wise men who came to Jerusalem. And they were asking the question, where is he who is born the king of the Jews? They said that they had seen his star in the east, and that was a miracle in itself, and that they had come to worship him and to bow down before him this newborn king of the Jews. That question was born around Jerusalem, and eventually King Herod heard the question. And he was disturbed about the fact that a newborn king had come into existence. And he wasn't just disturbed and troubled, but all of Jerusalem. And so King Herod gathered his religious leaders together, and he asked them, question, where is the Christ, the Messiah? Where is he to be born? And the religious leaders turned to the word of God, and they turned to the Old Testament, the book of Micah, and they said that in the Old Testament in Micah 5, 2, that this person would be born in Bethlehem. And after that, King Herod decided that he would call the Magi together again, these wise men who had come from the east. And he gathered them together, he talked with them, and he wanted to know more about when they saw this miraculous star, how long ago it was. And King Herod even said, I, I think you should go to Bethlehem and you should find this child who has been born, the Christ, and when you find him, Make sure you report back to me. Make sure you get back to me because I want to worship him also. And so the wise men went to Bethlehem and they found the newborn king, the baby Jesus. He was no longer in a manger. He had been alive for a short period of time. And when they found him, they bowed down and worshiped him. They, they bent their knees to this king. They worshiped this one who was the Messiah. They didn't miss out on Christmas. They didn't miss out at all. And God told these, these wise men, don't go back to Herod. And also told the family of Jesus, Joseph, his father, not to stay in Bethlehem, but to leave. And eventually the information got back to Herod. And, and the one who said, I want to bow down and worship the king of the Jews, the Christ, was furious. 
Now he was intent on killing this newborn king of the Jews. And he even went to the extent where all of the male children, two years and under, he had them killed. The one who said he wanted to worship Jesus wanted to kill Jesus. Herod missed out on Christmas. And how sad and how tragic that was. Because he knew that Jesus was the king of the Jews. He knew that Jesus was the Christ, the Messiah. He knew that Jesus had been born. He knew that he was found in Bethlehem. And that's where he was born. He knew that the wise men bowed down before him and worshipped him. But in light of all of that, he missed out. Because he did not want to surrender his life to the Lord Jesus Christ, the newborn king. My friends, I don't want you to miss Christmas. Because Christmas is more than us just singing songs about Christ. It's more about singing some of those traditional songs like Joy to the World and Silent Night. We can sing those songs all we want and still miss Christmas and the true meaning of Christmas. And how tragic and how sad it would be for us to leave here and miss the true meaning of Christmas. The true meaning of Christmas is that a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, was born in Bethlehem. And that this one who was born was the eternal Son of God. He's the one who is the creator of the world. And he has created all things for himself and all individuals for himself. But this one who is the eternal Son of God was conceived in the womb of Mary by the Holy Spirit. And on Christmas morning he was born. But he was born to die. That's why he came into this world. He was born to die. To pay the penalty for your <laughs> sin and for my sins and all of our sins. He was born to die. And that's exactly what he did. They nailed him to a cross. They crucified him. They buried him. And on the third day, he arose from the dead. And he showed himself to his disciples and others with many infallible proofs that he is a risen Lord Jesus Christ. And he ascended back to heaven. And, and the good news is that he now offers the gift of salvation to you and to me. And that if we put our faith and our trust in Christ alone for salvation, God will save us. And all of our sins, past, present, and future, will be forgiven. Amen. So my friends, don't miss Christmas. Don't leave without putting your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ alone for salvation. In your program, the gospel message is there. You can read it. You can understand it. If you want somebody to sit down and talk with you, we're more than glad to do that. But my prayer, my desire for each and every one of us is that we don't miss Christmas. God bless you. Amen. Amen.